this short video we're going to show you how to use a strong steroid ointment under what's called hydrocolloid occlusion to help very itchy patches of eczema that we call prurigo. Here you can see everything we're going to need to do the procedure. We've got a pair of scissors, a strong steroid ointment called Elecon ointment and the hydrocolloid dressing. Nurses wearing gloves to prepare and uh, apply the ointment for health and safety and infection control reasons, but you won't need to do this if you're doing it yourself. The strong steroid ointment is put accurately over the patches of eczema. And these are shortly going to be covered by the hydrocolloid dressing. The dressing packet is opened and using a pair of scissors a piece of hydrocolloid dressing is cut so that it will cover the small patch of eczema and also overlap it by about half a centimetre all the way around. If this isn't done then the hydrocolloid obviously won't stick to the ointment because there's not enough skin for it to stick onto. The paper backing is taken off the back of the hydrocolloid dressing, revealing the adhesive side. And now the hydrocolloid is being applied over a patch of ointment, over the eczema, and then nurse is just going to ask the patient to apply her hand to warm it for 20 or 30 seconds, and this helps it stick more effectively. A second piece is being cut to cover another piece of ointment and eczema. Again the backing paper is peeled off. And now nurse is going to apply it over another patch of eczema. Now these pieces of dressing can be held in, left in place for uh, two to three days. Uh, they're waterproof, you can bathe and shower with them. The hydrocolor dressing can then be taken off and hopefully the eczema will be much less itchy and have flattened down and the whole process can be repeated for two or three occasions until the eczema settles.